guys, what is up? It is your girl Kendall. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, my little sweeties. Okay, guys. <sighs> it is basically two weeks to Christmas, now 13 days till Christmas. And the days have literally just gone poof. Poof. <laughs> so, welcome to finally recap of November in the middle of damn- I've done this before in the middle of damn December. No, it's funny because I finished it on time and I was thinking, oh, we'll do it tomorrow, oh, we'll do it tomorrow, oh, we'll do it tomorrow. And then life just happens and you don't do it tomorrow. Did I write this? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, I was like, I better have finished it. I might hit myself in the head. <laughs> okay, good. I thought I did. I did. Okay, fam. So... November. It was a good month, actually. A damn good month. Okay. Here's the beginning page. Today, work my ass off. School shit. Read books. Plan content, which I've done. Mostly planning content on TikTok, but I need to pick up the slack here. <sighs> Get more TikTok followers. Literally, I don't care. I just, I'm almost 2,000 followers. I only care so I can go live with my friends that I've met. Like, honestly, I want to be able to go live with my friends. On TikTok. So I'm like, please? I don't care if I only get 1,000. I just care that I get 1,000 to see my So I can go live and talk with people and have a good time. And then I put red season on the sticker. Remember all. Ration food and drink. Start exercising. Be patient with yourself. Be nice. Even when I'm irritated, have fun. Then the important dates were November 3rd, November 7th, November 9th, November 12th, November 13th, November 19th, and November 25th. November 12th, Taylor Swift came out with Red, her version, Taylor's version, which we'll get into in just a minute. November 3rd was Sirius Black's birthday. I celebrate her part birthdays because I'm a nerd. November 7th. I can't remember what November 7th had. November 9th was my stepdad's birthday. I can't remember why November 13th. November 19th, because that's when Adele dropped her new album. Then November 25th was Thanksgiving, so can't remember the others, but I, I remember I remember most important three. <laughs> okay, so here's what Oh shit, I didn't mark that off. Well it's fine. We'll finish marking this off. I can mark off the rest of the calendar, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. No, it's fine. <laughs> Maybe. No, it's okay. Okay, so here's the color scheme was like blue and teal. Not blue and teal, brown and teal. <laughs> like it starts with a B. Brown and teal. So I have the Sword and Hot sticker there. I guess you can see, what was the seventh? Is that what I went to my grandma's house? A Probably might be what happened. No, that was November. F no, that was the first. No, that was the first. No, that was a week. It could have been November 7th actually when I went to my grandma's house. And then for Red Week, obviously, for the week of Red, pre release. And after nine years actually getting. And then for Red Day, I put. Red, put red day under it. After nine years, finally got the 10 minute version of All Too Well. Nine years? If you'd have told 15 year old Kendall in nine years this is gonna be happening, I'd be like, nah. I wouldn't believe it. I really wouldn't. Because that's just not how. I love how she just changed how everything works and how things get released now for music on her end. It's literally just a surprise, so it's fun. And then there's this one. I colored everything. The girls, my girls dedicated. And then I put thankful 
<laughs> Hashtag thankful blessed bitches at the heart for that week for Thanksgiving. Nothing too crazy. Okay. <laughs> so as always, homegirl finds random things on the floor of my work. So I found this Wendy's thing and I put it in there. Because I did eat a lot of ice cream in November, so we'll take it as that. Okay, so I'll explain. Time to read the end of month recap. This month was great and I made a lot of new friends. I did. Being an adult is much better than being an adolescent. As I get older, I keep finding the real ones who actually like me and enjoy my company. Honestly, fuck fake ass bitches. I'm grateful for my life and I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, so what happened? So, now I can talk about Taylor Swift. Okay. I have my signed Tay Tay CD. My signed Tay Tay CD. My signed Tay Tay CD. It's beautiful. And so now I have two signed Taylor Swift CDs, which is like crazy. And. Red Toes versions. Red is such a special era for me. Because I'm probably going to have to make a separate video about this. I'll just put in this little snippet. Red is such a special era for me. Then I got my red ring. And then I got other merch buds on the way. I found the red ring. I'll make a video after this. Why not? <laughs> about it. It's just, it's, red was so special to me when I was 15. Like, it's just, Taylor really just changed everything for me like you get her fun country albums you get her debut album fearless speak now was phenomenal and then red like it's just it marks like very that's when she started getting more pop that's when she straightened her hair that's when i love things happened when i was 15 and a lot of things are just Songs I've been listening to and songs I get to listen to now, like, it's just, it's been my life for the past almost decade with this album. And this was my first concert with the Red Tour. So that's really special. And I was 16. And, yeah, shit's good. June 1st, 2013 was a damn good day for me. Okay, quotes of the month. So, I, here's why, how I made more friends. So, I got to go to an ex-Mormon party <laughs> with my friend Tim. So, I met Tim back in August at the protesting for BYU chalk thing for LGBTQ plus community. Well, okay, we're just going to deal with it. And to show support for the LGBTQ plus students at BYU. I was part of that. It wasn't, I didn't do it the first night, but we did this, I was at there the second night. That's when I made friends, and then, so I just followed Tim on TikTok, going his lives. He's going to be going, going live a lot the past month, and a little bit. So, Tim went to Thrive. Thrive is an ex-Mormon, basically, ex-Mormon convention thing, which is just amazing. Everyone gets together, gets to meet each other, and just have real talks about life, and how to cope and heal. And how to thri thrive after, real thrive beyond religion is their thing. And so, Tim got to go to Thrive. I was, I thought about it. I was just really freaking tired and didn't feel well. That was on November 14th. I had a busy weekend. It was red weekend. Like, it was just, it was hectic. I was just not feeling well. I was really tired. I had migraine and stuff. So, but later that night, like at 9.30, Tim goes live. And then our friend, his username on TikTok is Spartacus Unchained. He's known as Spartacus, and but his name is McKay. But I'm just going to call him Spartacus because that's what we all call him. So Spartacus comes in and is like, hey, Tim, why aren't you at the party? And Tim's like, there's a party. He's like, yeah, your parents are here. <laughs> So Tim's parents were at the party before Tim was. So Tim's like, oh, I'm coming, send me the address. And I go, Tim, take me with you. And then I was like, wait, he legit can come get me because he was on the way. Because I knew he was in Salt Lake. Cottonwood Heights, yeah, Cottonwood Heights is where the party was. But I didn't know that time. I just knew it was someone close by me. I was like, wait, 
I was like, wait, Tim, can you come pick me up from South Jordan? He's like, yes, Kendall, DM me your address. And then I did, and then whatever minutes later after I pulled together my getup, Tim came to my house and we went to a party together. <laughs> then Spartacus got Tim fucked up for his first time. And here's the thing, Tim doesn't drink lightly. When he drinks, it's not like the usual sipping, like, occasionally. No, he chugs that shit. Like, that's just him. Go go hard or go home. All or nothing. That's Tim. Tim is so freaking sweet. So funny. Just <sighs> bless Tim. <laughs> bless Tim's heart. So all night I was helping Tim. No, so Spartacus was drunk too, so he loved Tim. So thankfully it's a good thing I did end up going because I, wa I watched out for Tim. I hung out with Tim while making sure he was okay. I gave him water. I was like, you sure you're good? Maybe we should get you some food. While well, all the while filming, I have a TikTok, filming him just drunk as fuck. <laughs> We're going to put that in here. That's what's next. Tim! How was that, Tim? Are you ready to party? Hey, hi. 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 Yes. Hi. 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 MTV's My Crib. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tim's new crib. Uh, uh, 69. All right, I, I got it. Uh, 2069. Or, wait, hold on. 666. All right, devil, bring me. Right. The price. <laughs> so, Tim, what do you want to say to Spartacus? Oh, uh, fuck you, bro. You're the best. But you know what's funny? You said the other night you wanted to get blacked out. You wanted to get fucked out. Are you okay? No, yeah, I'm great. I'm just... Should we just go get, should we get you some food? <laughs> I was going. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do it, do it, do it. Do the work. <laughs> Tim, do it again. What were you doing? Did yeah. you have <laughs> He said it's okay before he got drunk, so. What is he doing, though? Two! Hey, bro! Just barely, though! Like, two minutes! Like, a month or two. You can come on downstairs anytime you want. Downstairs, what's that mean? Down the stairs! Where is that stairs? Come on, Tim! <laughs> oh, this is stupid. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> you have a fake. And so the whole night was like that. And so Tim wasn't able to drive or anything. So we were just going to wait it out, sleep at Care Burrell's house. That's where I was at. And so I made friends. I made a lot of friends that night. And I had some great conversations. And me and Tim, I was home by 6 in the morning. <laughs> And Tim called out from work because he had to work at 7, but he didn't think about that. So Spartacus, like, gave him two shots. I can't remember what liquor it was, but it was really freaking strong. That would fuck you up, like, instantaneously. And Tim is very lightweight and he's great. It was really funny. Tim's hysterical. And Tim can play the piano drunk, as you saw. He plays by ear. Like, he's so fucking talented, man. Like, I'm like, whoa. He's like, I'm, I can't teach nobody. I just play by ear. So, yeah. So now here's the quotes of the month. I just forgot to say why I made how I made friends. <laughs> so Okay, so two of these. I can't remember the second one's from Tim's Live, if Tim said it. 
No, someone, one of our friends, I can't remember who said it. One, one of our friends on Tim's live said this quote. But the first quote is directly from Tim. There were more witnesses tonight than for the Book of Mormon. <laughs> He's talking about there was more witnesses. There's just a lot more people at his live because we were just being funny and doing whatever shit. He's like, there are more witnesses tonight than, than for the Book of Mormon. Second is someone said, Exmo Tim just real, just released the Book of Mormon. No, just... Exmo Tim just released the Book of Mormon is his fake Santa Claus. <laughs> and that's what Tim said. <laughs> And then someone said, just release the Book of Mormon. Exmo Tim, just release the Book of Mormon is a fake Santa Claus. Then Tim said, I'm dumb as fuck, I want to be president. <laughs> he wasn't drunk. Wait, no, was he? No, 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 he was drunk. No, for this quote, he was drunk. He got drunk eventually. He was with his other friend at his house at this point on the live. I'm dumb as fuck. I want to be president. <laughs> And then, of course, Miss Taylor Swift. Fuck the patriarchy. You were tossing me the car keys. Fuck the patriarchy. Keychain on the ground. We were always skipping town. And then my friend Ollie, so I said, What did I say? I kind of like th jokingly threatened somebody. I said, I'll give y'all the Kendall treatment. And then Ollie goes, Not the Kendall treatment. You don't want the Kendall treatment, by the way. No, it is. And then, this is Taylor Swift's song from, um, Bet You Think About Me. Oh my god, she's insane, she wrote a song about me. I'll bet you think about me. Ew, who's Taylor Swift anyway? I'm 22 and the rest of this was just red quotes. Because I don't think I could, I think I couldn't think of anything else and I've just been listening to red, so like, it fits. And then from message known from um, not from the very first night that song one of the vault the vault song very first night. They don't know how much I miss you. I wish I could fly. I take it when we go back in time. Take me away. But no, a genius Swifty did the Lord's work for us. And, cause how the rhymes go, it sounds like she's supposed to be saying how much I miss her, but she says I miss you. I know that's on purpose to get us thinking, whatever. But it really bothered me. So now someone made a version where they edited her saying the word her, and it just sounds like normal, and it's 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 now a gay anthem. I said November was fun. I've been making Lego TikTok videos, <laughs> like exploring Legos that I jokingly got like three years ago, and then I got more so I could make more content with it. And you know, just me making lesbian Xmo content. I I mentioned that briefly, or maybe not briefly. I mentioned that in my podcast video that I just posted a couple days ago. But yeah, yeah, November was fun. Also, Adele's album fucking slaps, too, but I'm, of course I'm just a Taylor Swift bitch, so. So, yeah. That's all I have to say about that, from what I can remember. But November was a lot, and it was really fun. And I hope you guys are doing well. And obviously, clearly, recap of December's not far behind. <laughs> Love you guys, see you later.